Hello and welcome to TDE Design and Build. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this wall mounted fold away CNC table. I've got a CNC machine coming from Onefinity in about four weeks and I need somewhere to put it. But because my workshop is so small, as you can see, it's only three meters by three meters, I need something that I can fold away. The reason you can't use a flip down table is because the CNC machine will be on top of it and it's so big that you need a table that moves up and out of the way. I'll show you how that works now. Before I go into how to make this or what materials to buy, I want to present the design and some different ideas for how to make this system. The design itself is based on a simple set of principles. As long as you follow these principles, then you can apply your own design. Examples of other methods are using steel tube, box section and welded, U-channel, uni-strut, or any other wall mounted linear bearing system as long as it can handle the weight of the CNC machine and the table. The choice of bearing strut is really down to you. It will depend on how much money you want to spend. The principles of the design are as follows. You will need a wall mounted linear bearing, preferably one that prevents lateral movement, a solid rigid reinforced worktop, a support strut mounted in the centre of the table with a minimum of a 45 degree angle. A method of hinging the table to the struts and to the wall. A method of locking the table in place and setting the correct geometry to make sure the whole thing is balanced and works. As long as you stick to these principles, then I have no doubt you can make something much better than my system. The reason I selected the materials that I used was purely because I already had them to hand and I chose the uni strut with the bearing truck as they are load tested to 600 pounds. I used the scaffold tube system because they have hinging components and can be micro adjusted to get the table level. If I had a bigger budget, I would have used a tubular linear bearing with key clamp tubes for the whole thing. So I'm just going to describe what I'm doing here. Uh, this is an offcut of 30 millimeter beach ply. It's quite heavy duty stuff. Um, and I'm going to use this as the backing rail to lift the um, worktop up and down the wall. Now, you don't have to do it like this, by the way. There's hundreds of different ways that you can put sliders on the walls and bearings in them. But this is what I've got in the workshop and I want to use this stuff up so I've done it like this so it might seem a little bit contrived and complicated but this is for me this is the best option it means I don't have to go out and buy tons of new materials so what I've done is I've pipped some marks on there and a slot here and I've pipped two marks there and a slot here so what's going to happen is I'll grab these I'm going to router out this slot to four mil and then this is going to go in there and it's going to be bolted in place and then there's going to be two 7.8 millimeter holes and i'm going to put these pins through all the way with these rollers on through the holes and that will hold these in place and what this will do is when i pick this up and put this on that runner these will contact there and stop it from going left to right and the track will go through here and because this can take 600 kilograms so I'm just pulling on that there to show you that's going to take the weight of the worktop and this is just all this is going to do is because there's a little bit of play there so just to stop it playing I'm going to put this runner on and then when it's all screwed together 
it'll act in compression with that side and it will stop it from rattling around.
don't necessarily have to copy this design. It's just in, there's a few important elements that will make this table work. First of all, you need a very rigid worktop. Secondly, you need your armatures or struts at the bottom to be totally square and reinforced crossways with each other. And then you need a linear bearing that goes up against the wall and you need a stop at the bottom of that linear bearing so that when the table comes down, it hits something and stops and locks into position. So I've just left this partially open to show inside how it works. There's the blocks here, either side there's a block. These are perfectly level with each other. And what happens is the desk, when it comes down, it sits on the top of that. Now, this particular design, it makes it sit in a sort of equilibrium. So you're not having to push the full weight of the table. And when the CNC is on it, you won't be pushing the full weight of the CNC because the armature sits in the middle of the table. So it's like a kind of seesaw effect. So all you're doing is overcoming some of the weight and then pushing it and it goes up against the wall. And once it's in there, it's locked in. There's an additional feature. I have this locking mechanism, which you don't really need, but um, I use it to lower the table into position. Clips into that. And now, if I want to stop the table at any point, I just let go and it's locked into position. And the other cool thing about this is I can stand to the side here. Lower the table down into position, but always, always put it away. 